Imagine how much more you could earn and save driving with Uber in a free Hertz EV rental for an entire year, plus an extra $25,000 cash in your wallet. Enter the Hertz and Uber Drive electric sweepstakes for your chance to win. Simply go to Hertz.com slash drive electric and complete the form for one free entry. Plus, the longer you drive, the more chances to win. What are you waiting for? Let's go. Visit Hertz.com slash drive electric and enter now. Let's talk about Uber extending the wait time on comfort trips because uh, I don't know about you, but 10 minutes is quite a bit. Okay, so two weeks ago, I think it was three weeks ago, maybe I lost track of time. We do so many things these days that uh, Uber uh, extended the wait time to seven minutes from five for mm-hmm. cancellation on Uber X. And we put the video out. That video was on fire. I don't think there was one single comment that. Uh, thank you, thank you, Brandon. Um, th- there was one single comment that liked that, that change. And now, on Comfort, you guys are going, I have Comfort, I have X. I don't like 7 to 5, 5 to 7. Now, on Comfort, we're going from 7 to 10. Bro, as a passenger, if you're not ready to get your ass in the car when I get there, I ain't going to wait 10 minutes. Nothing, not gonna happen. Zero, zero chance. What do you guys think? You guys like this one? It's 10 minutes now, Chris. Bro, that's like, that's crazy. what is that? Okay, look, there is six, 10 minutes in an hour. Okay, you know what this is gonna do to them, right? Because if a passenger makes me 10 minutes, their active hour earnings are gonna go down now because this is part of the active hour. You know what I mean? Well, you know, hey, in New York State where I'm at, it's it's 26 per active hour. So, <laughs> I mean, it's it well, hasn't start, it yeah, hasn't kicked yeah, in yet. Exactly, but. Yeah, but that that's just one. There's 50 other states in California. Mine like yep. 22. But look, first one, first of all, first of all, when it, when it came down when, when Uber first started, it was saying bullshit. order the order the ride when you're ready, because your driver will be less than five minutes away, on average. Like that was the goal from the get go. Yeah. Have somebody out ready to go. I mean, you know how that work? It's the same thing you. as shared rides. You want to make should. sure that you have somebody there in two minutes, and b- basically, it just comes down to order the ride when you're ready. Don't order the ride and then have twelve different things that you got to get done because this extension is only going to piss drivers off more, and it's going to make riders not actually order the ride until they feel like ordering the ride when they still have some more things to do. They just want to have the car out front waiting for them when they're finally done with whatever they have to do in order to get that ride. Okay, this this 10 minutes, right? I get it, you know, they're bent over backwards for the golden goose that lays the golden egg, okay? I get that. But how about this? Instead of playing this kind of game with the driver, okay, again, on the rider side, how about you incentivize the rider to be ready, okay? How about you say, dollar off your trip, if you're ready to go when the driver shows yep. up. Yeah, within that two minute window. So then the wait time doesn't even have to worry about it. Exactly. Because there is not a freaking chance on the planet. I'm waiting, double parked potentially in LA. I mean, parking is horrible. I'm going to be parked for 10 minutes because I'm making on comfort, let's say, 8% more than Uber X. This is, see, these changes that you guys institute at Uber, five to seven. Seven to ten. Time is money. I I am not your employee like Alto. If I was like that, getting paid without doing anything, I don't care. I park it and wait. Yeah, that's this fine. Is, this is this is not going to work. This is all going to create more animosity between the driver and the passenger. Imagine, imagine, Chris. Nine and a half minutes in, somebody walks out of their house. Do you think that driver is going to be like in a good mood that after nine and a no. half minutes you showed up? No, I think for the I think the, the, the driver gonna be a little upset. Yeah, you know, I'm like, no, I don't like this Uber at all. No. Right? Okay, because if Comfort was paying like, okay, so you increase from seven to ten. That's about fifty percent increase in wait time for free. Now I know Comfort pays. I think Comfort pays twenty eight minute, twenty eight cents a minute, or forty two cents a minute for wait time after two minutes. Okay, not bad. Fine. But 
the inconvenience of waiting for 10 minutes and 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 then what if what if after eight minutes somebody cancels you're going to get a lousy three dollars 75 cents or whatever this cancellation fee. these things are just not creating goodwill you know what i mean so mm -hmm. yeah man i have no well, here, here's a question way. here's a question at what do you, first actually i have two questions it's two part uh do you rate your passenger to lower if they make you wait longer for the pickup to get them and how long until you uh, how long until the time is where you're like okay now they're getting at least one star lower or two stars lower whatever it might be i don't I, I can't figure all that out but if you make me wait the full seven minutes and show up in six minutes and 48 seconds right right when my finger is ready to go right cancel. you can cancel but you're not going to get paid the cancellation fee no no i'm saying after the two minutes right if i cancel after the seven then i get the cancellation but what i'm saying yeah. is that because if i'm at like 648 and i'm ready to cancel i'm waiting another 12 seconds to get my cancellation fee right and if you show up at 648 650 right at the cusp of me canceling on you you will get a four star automatic automatic four stars one star off just for you to make me wait and i don't give a rat's ass if you like it or you don't like it and i'm gonna do the same thing on comfort first of all since chris the the um time for waiting on X and comfort now has gone up. I'm not even going to mess with it. I'm going to wait my two minutes. If the clock is up, boom, I'm gone. Especially if I'm working in a surge area. If I know there's mm -hmm. many other fish to fry in the ocean, I ain't waiting for you. Why am I waiting yep. for you for? Yeah, and and that's that's the other thing too. You also got to weigh the opportunity cost when yeah. it comes down to it. I'm so you got to you got to look at how much oh. you're going to sit there and, and make for. You know how 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 much ever long it may take for that passenger to actually come out versus you getting another ride and taking it so um i mean yeah you could cancel it without getting paid but uh i mean again it's going to come down to the opportunity cost so will which one will outweigh the other um so okay. it, it's just a couple of things to think about especially on the busy nights when it's not so busy or something like that let's say monday night uh, not much is going on or tuesday night maybe you're just chilling listening to us or something uh, well, may, maybe the 10 minute might not be such a bad idea if there's nothing going on, um, or it's seven minute. It just depends. Still the best thing to do though, when you're on the way to pick up a passenger, when you're a couple of minutes out, send them a text, say, Hey, I'm going to be there in a certain amount of time. If they say any, if it's busy and you know, it's going to be crazy or something, um, things are going on like a, for a weekend night or tomorrow night. Um, and they say, Hey, I'm going to be a few minutes extra or something like that. Just at that moment, just cancel because don't even go go to the pickup. Just cancel at that point. Um, yeah, you, you, the code is "I'll be right out." See you. Yeah, you're, you're going with somebody else. What is this guy saying? I have no idea. But, Sergio, we can't enter the contest call without triggering message to Tristan. I have no idea what. This is. What? Yeah. We can't enter the. Uh, it's just hashtag Sergio, or I, I mean hashtag money. Hashtag money. <laughs> hashtag money, bro. Anyway, I don't know. There's a joke. Was there a joke, penetrator? I don't know. So, anyway, so uh, what did the Brandon say? Um, the twenty dollar chat, super chat. What did he say? He was complaining about something. He's part of the CDU. He says Uber Black in uh, Chicago is dead. Comfort drivers are making more than black drivers now. Uh, fleet owners are pissed and refuse to swap out their trucks for Tesla Model Ys. I'm going back to Model Y. In this, okay, cool. All right. Um, actually, I'm going sure to make sure it's a black Model Y, and then that way you can get on yeah. black as well as Comfort. Well, I'm going <laughs> to do an interview with that gentleman you guys had on with Gay. You know, the EV EV money, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because um, he painted he, his car black. Yeah, he wrapped his car black, and he got approved on the Lyft Black platform. Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so you got to yeah, analyze the cost, but it may be worth it. So, yeah. Um, how long until you, you interview him? You're going to give him a little bit of time uh, between so probably get like those numbers? Within the next week, within the next week, and then you schedule okay. it. When you yeah, find, find out those numbers definitely when you're talking yeah, yeah. to him. I think we're going to have him back on uh, EV Money, uh, not maybe not in December, but maybe in January, February or something, just to see how how the cost versus offset oh, is yeah. when it comes to, to it. So all the people who are driving Lux, if your car is able to qualify for black, but your car isn't black, you could potentially always wrap it. We talked about yeah. that on the show a couple of weeks ago here. Um, and we had a driver actually who did okay. it, who was on 
uh, EV money who, who decided to wrap their car black. And now they're able to be on the black platform. Okay, so let's assume it's four thousand for a wrap, right, cheap dude, right? If you do Uber Black, uh, Uber Black, maybe. I mean, I, I don't think it's going to be that much. Okay, but let's say it is, right? That's you're going to get that money out of Uber Black probably in the first hundred trips, right? And and then your car is going to be protected when you take the wrap off. It's going to be a new, a brand new, right? And Uber Black is going to pay you or Lux Black, they call it now. They call it Black. Sorry, not Uber Black. Um, this is all about Lux, by the way, um, the Flux. Yep. And, uh, you know, you're going to uh, recoup that investment in probably less than a couple of months. And then the rest is yours. I think it's a pretty decent exchange because we had a problem with, well, we'll talk to this driver and then we'll put that up. I think this this will be good investment for a lot of people who are doing Lux with their Teslas or whatever not. And they just fell by the wayside because Lyft changed uh, the Lux uh, situation. So stay tuned. We'll We'll give you guys information on that. All right, thanks for watching. That short little clip was from our live stream, Show Me the Money Club with Sergio and myself, Tuesdays, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific. Make sure you subscribe, turn on all notifications so you are notified when we go live, as well as all of our awesome content. Make sure to check out this video right here, which will take you to the entire live stream, or check out this video right there. All right, drive smart, everyone.